Steve has drafted an article for the Wednesday Wire, so he emails the file out to his team wanting feedback. Several people read the article. Some make a few edits in the file and email it back to him, while a few others send their feedback to him in an email. Now Steve has multiple copies of his file that he has to compare, as well as comments in several emails. It's got to be an easier way to do this. If only Steve's team was using Google Docs. When one person makes a change, the others can see the change and can respond right away, allowing them to work together without the hassle of attachments or multiple versions of a document. Let me show you how Steve's team could be using Google Docs to collaborate. Steve has finished his first draft of the article and is ready for feedback. The doc has already been shared with the team, so he clicks the file menu and selects Email Collaborators. Notice the name of the doc has automatically become the subject line of the email. Steve can edit the subject line if he wants and type a message. Daniel is on vacation and won't see the email on time, so Steve unchecks him so the email will not be sent to him. He can click the Send button when he is done. Now meet Nancy. She receives the email from Steve and clicks the link in the email to open the doc. She can tell that Steve has the doc open by the notification icon in the top right. And it looks like Kelly just opened it. Any edits they make will appear in real time, meaning Nancy will see them as they happen. As Nancy reads the article, she has something to add about a specific part. As someone with can edit or can comment permissions, Nancy can leave a comment anywhere in the doc. First, she selects the specific text, clicks the comment button on the toolbar, and a box appears to the right of the document. She clicks in the box and types her comment. When she is done, she can click the comment button to save. As the person who created the comment, Nancy can edit or delete it if she wants. Kelly has also just added a comment. If Nancy wants to reply to Kelly's comment, she can click on the comment, then click in the reply box, and type her response. She wants to direct this comment to Kelly to make sure she sees it. So she types a plus sign followed by Kelly's email address. When she is done, she can click the reply button to save. And Kelly will be sent an email notification letting her know there is a comment waiting for her. It's important to know that only people with the permissions can edit or can comment can reply to a comment. People who can only view the doc cannot see the comment. Once the discussion is over, you can click the Resolve button to close the comment. This way, you can remove the comment from your screen without deleting it. To see a comment that has been closed, you can find it by clicking the Comments button. From here, you can see the history of all of the closed comments. You can even reopen a closed comment if you would like to continue the discussion. One more thing to know about comments. If you are the owner of the doc, you will receive an email notification if someone else leaves a comment. People with can edit or can comment permissions will receive an email only if someone replies to a comment they have left. To change the notification settings for this doc, click the notifications button. Now meet Wayne. Wayne has a few ideas on how to improve the article. Even though he does have can edit permissions, so he could edit the document if he wanted to, he essentially wants to make suggestions on how Steve might say some things differently. Before editing the document, Wayne changes his editing mode to suggesting. This will allow him to leave his ideas, and Steve, or anyone else with editing permissions, can accept or reject the suggestions. It's important to know that anyone with can edit permissions can change their editing mode between editing, suggesting, or viewing. 
while those with can comment permissions can only leave comments or make editing suggestions. Later, when Steve reopens the dock, he can see Wayne's suggestions. After reviewing all changes to the dock, Steve decides to accept Wayne's suggestion. And resolves Nancy's comment. Now that Steve's team is using Google Docs to collaborate, they are able to give feedback and update documents in far less time with less frustration. And Steve is one happy guy.